uh, helpful for folks. Uh, Dr. Craig says the following. He says, what historical claims does the Bible make about Adam and Eve? And is belief in a historical Adam and Eve compatible with the scientific evidence? Why don't you share with us what issue you took with kind of that phraseology uh, of his question? I thought that was interesting when I read the article. I, maybe you can unpack it for us. Well, Craig basically accepts the, the secular origin story. Now he would mm -hmm. say God did it, but he would accept as he would accept Darwinian evolution in some form. He would accept the Big Bang, the billions of years, and so on. So in his view, that's what we know about humanity, mm -hmm. what the secular scientists say. Um, and I take issue with that because I would say right. what we know about humanity is what the Bible teaches. What we know about the origins of the universe is what the Bible teaches. Now, can scientists make guesses about the past? Absolutely. I have no problem with that. Sure. But that's not what we know. What we know is what God has said in his word. What, what we know historically is what is recorded in history books. Mm. And the Bible is that. It's a history book that tells us the history of the universe, how it began and the history of mankind, how they began. So I want to stop you there. So so you're saying, okay, from science, someone someone could say, we know this from science. And let's see if it's compatible with what the Bible says. You're saying, well, wait a minute. What we know is what God has said, and science is confirmatory if you have the right presuppositions, I suppose, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're starting with a very authoritative, dogmatic position, which you would you would openly admit, right? This is the word yeah. of God. If it's the word of God, it speaks dogmatically. It speaks self-attestingly. So you understand the word of God is saying, this is how God did it. This is what it means. We're able to interpret it. And this is what we know. We don't come to the discussion from, well, science, we know this. Let's see what the Bible says and see if there's a compatibility. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and particularly the opinions of secular scientists. Okay. Um, Craig makes this uh, reification fallacy mistake of, of taking, you know, science teaches this. We know this from science. Okay. Um, science is not an opinion. It's it's not a person that has opinions on things. It's a, it's a method. Now, scientists have certain beliefs that they teach. And different scientists have, have different conclusions that they draw about the past. And so we need yeah. to be careful about that. It would be more accurate for him to say that he, he accepts what the majority of scientists uh, believe about the past. That would okay. be honest. And I would say, and I, and I disagree with them, because I got to tell you, the majority of scientists do not, do not believe in resurrection from the dead. And mm -hmm. so if we were going to use that as the standard by which we interpreted scripture, we would have to reinterpret the resurrection as being a non-literal, non-historical event. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. So, um, and I don't know what Dr. Craig would, would say. I, I wish he would come on. I'd love to have a conversation with this. Maybe we have like a dialogue going on between you and that'd be an interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he'd ever do it, but um, 